Mark Savage. Hmm. He said he was going to the garage, and that was about an hour ago. And what are we doing today? Um, hello, dear. Hello, fans. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Savage here. Welcome to the wife not looking at me in a mean way. And what's he been buying? Uh, oh, mm. shit. Loads well, of Come back to here. Um, 27 gram rollers. I said I was sort of okay with it. Puller was all right. Not every day it's not. And it's raining. Um, so I bought 21 gram rollers and the belt. I wasn't 100% happy with it. So I bought myself a new shiny belt that took four days to come. Even though it said eight. So I was happy with that. So I used the same idea with the peds got it off and i'm going to change the belt and look at the rollers to see how bad they were because at the end of the day they've been on a, about a couple of hundred miles now and i just wanted to see how bad they were and look you remember i had that before the dust i think that's from the belt if i'm honest with you yes i've been buying stuff as well yeah well You always need oil. Yeah. Maybe not 20 litres of it. That's for the van. You always did antifreeze and it was a good deal. No. Maybe not 20 litres. But you never know. Did you get some screen wash for the wife? <laughs> it's concentrated. Yeah, okay. Yes, I've been buying stuff, but you can't turn down deals when they're there. Um, this was going to be the second video, actually. The wife sort of got me now. I've got another video coming up. Keep on about the screen and how it buffers. I've seen these many times and they sort of do this sort of thing. Um, I mean, you're looking at 100 and odd pound, 150 pound from Italy to get a new screen for this. So I looked at these actually for the Bergman and it came and it's really thick glass. So I'm gonna fit this to this one, 20, 22 pounds. Again, it's four days from China, it's not bad at all. So next video coming up, me fitting this, chatting about this. And I was going to do a video about riding a moped and riding a motorbike. What's the difference? That's coming up, so stay tuned for that one. But I'm going to carry on with this one. The wife sort of caught me, as I said earlier. Uh, let's get this belt off. I wasn't going to do the belt, but I'm looking now. I may actually have to take the clutch off, which I think someone wanted me to do anyway. Because if you look, oh no, it will come off. Ugh. It wasn't the clutch, the clutch is fine. That little noise I kept hearing was this spinning, so it's not gripping anymore. So if we look at the difference between these two. Yeah, it's a lot of wear, you, can you see that? That's a good bit of wear there. That's a lot thicker and on the outside as well. So, new belt, lighter rollers, that should stop the noise and give me a lot faster pull away. Let's have a quick look in here how they've done over the last couple of weeks. I'll tell you what, it's a lot nicer when you uh, when you've taken something apart once. If you remember right in my last video, I hadn't done this before, so it was a little bit of a learning curve. The same trick we're putting the nut through there and the claw hammer and spanking it one. It came off a lot, lot easier. But I'm assuming that's because I had it off once already. So the first time you see me do it, that's what you're going to go through if you take it off. It's a little bit of a keep whacking, keep whacking, and keep whacking. It will come off. I'm happy to say that I managed to uh, get the variator tight. That always worries me if it's going to come loose. But I did get the right torque on that. So let's have a quick look in here. That is unimpressive. They're not, that's not brilliant. I'm not happy with that. Can you see that? That's where. So not be the best I'm worried because the picture I bought yeah, look little fat flat spots little fat spots <laughs> fucking idiot 
<laughs> it's not helping the wife at all. <laughs> Flat spots. And they're, they're not, I'm not happy with that. So yes, they're too heavy, but they've not wore as well as I expected them to. So I don't know if it's cheap make or not. When I bought these, they were supposed to be yellow and I thought that's much better. But again, hmm. We're talking 250 miles maybe, and they're flat spotted already. That's not, that's not good news. And of course, I'm back to that dust again, which I think might have been down to the belt. I mean, all right, if the belt is leaking all the powder in here, they're gonna stop rolling. So a new belt should help this. So wipe this out like I do in other videos, put the new lighter ones in there, put the new belt on, and this should, should be a lot better. Recently, I've been getting an awful lot of questions about things I've covered in all my videos. And there's no high mark, great videos, whatever, like some of you do. It's just like, my lights don't work, what is it? My carb isn't working, what is it? And I often say, well, have you, you know, cleaned this, done that? Yes, I've done all that. I say, well, check it again. I mean, I've just marked this, by the way, so I'm rubbing it down. I, I've done this hundreds of times, but I still have in the back of my mind that I hadn't done this nut up tight enough. It always goes for your mind, you know? Um, so I'm quite surprised that people do something once, never done it before, watch half my video, and then immediately think they've done it right. Check it, check it, and check it again. You've got to do this. You just don't know, you know? That's why I've done this, I've tested it. That's lovely and smooth now. Just a little bit annoyed. I marked it with a hammer. It's gonna happen. And if you don't do this, and you could do it when you do your bit like this, it will um, cut into the belt. You just keep cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. And all of a sudden you wonder why your belt's only done a couple of 400 miles, a thousand miles, and it's gone. It's because you marked it. You've got to get it lovely and smooth. So I'm gonna keep emmying this down until it's really, really smooth. That's quite a big mark actually, you know. I'm not impressed with that, it's pretty tacky. So my, my basic advice today is my knees are killing me. Ow! Ugh. That's better. Basically what I'm trying to say is just because you've done something once doesn't mean you've done it right. Alright, your best intentions. The vacuum, Petri cock. You know, I've got a guy asking me now, you know, he's done it, I won't run, and then he's asking me questions that you should know uh, about priming it, you've got to suck the fuel. How many videos have I done about sucking the fuel to prime a carburetor? I've done loads. And here's the guy saying, you know, how do you do it again? You blow or suck? Blowing is gonna damage it. So you suck, and that's how you prime the carburetor. So, 450 videos, have a little watch of them. Get it right. Don't work first time. Don't be worried about taking it off. I've actually enjoyed taking this off. Really quick it was, because I knew what I was doing the first time. Now I'm gonna get it right. 21 gram rollers. Um, there were some definite flat spots in the other rollers and that could have been caused by the belt. A little bit of dust and it goes in there and then it will just stop them from rolling and that's when you get these flat spots. What I started noticing when I first had it, it was actually all right. It pulled away really well. I was noticing that it had like a turbo, so I pull away quite, well, reasonable for this 400cc. Um, and then I get to 50 and it really fly up to 80 mile an hour. And that's something I want to mention in another video coming soon about the speed, um, stability, and other road users. Anyway, that's lovely now. Get this back on. Belt went on really easy. I wiped it all down. <sighs> this was clean. And I do think it was that belt. So I'm gonna pop this back on now, and then I'm gonna put it all back on, and I'm gonna ride up and down the road, and there uh, should be a noticeable difference I might lose a little bit top end. Um, these can do 90, but you're redlining it. You don't want to be doing it in the 4T. You know, the old 2T is just, ah, give it some all the time. I mean, it's happy doing 80 mile an hour. It will easily do 80 mile an hour, and that shocks quite a few road users. Anyway, as I said, let's just finish this bit off here. Not a perfectionist. I just want to make sure it's all right. I don't want to cut the belt up again. It's my own fault, you know. There is a tool you can get for these, I'm sure, but hey it's not going to damage that at all now let's get on with it so what are my top tips don't rush check your work twice you haven't got to check it afterwards 
and make sure it all goes back as it was before. If you don't know what you're doing, watch my videos, hopefully they'll help, or take pictures as you go along. You can refer to them afterwards. You don't want to end up with lost screws or screw you think, where'd this go? It's the last thing you ever want. Make sure you connect everything back up before putting it all back on again. Double check everything. And you're going to be okay. If you're only watching this first time, there's another video on how to get this off properly. I've just gone over it today because I've been over it already. Put my screws back on and we're going to go for a little test ride. That's coming up now. What a difference, 21 gram rollers, clean and a brand new belt made. That's quite surprising actually. The pull away was piss poor. <laughs> it was all right, I would have got used to it. But obviously with a belt, I'm pretty sure that was wrapping around the rollers, making them have flat spots. But that, that really pulled then, you can see the whole bike pulling then. I'll let you know on my next vlog, which will be putting the screen on, and I'll let you know how the top end was but pull away just up and down this little bit here was phenomenal I mean a big change from what I had when I had the 27 gram rollers on there so job done as I like to say thank you so much for watching look out for my next two videos coming up about riding these and the screen I'm probably actually going to get another one actually I'll put one on here and one on the Ducati and I well after I've trialled it I'll get another one if for no good it's 20 quid, it's nothing major. I mean, to buy one with a screen with it already on is a lot of money, so I won't be doing that. Right, enough chat, it's getting cold. Um, time for a cup of tea from the wife. <laughs> I think that's a yes. <laughs> and Durban, no slaps on the back of the head. Ha! And I will catch up with you guys on my next video. Take care of yourselves on the road, especially now. Bye bye.